This episode of Mass Vlog is brought to you by Caffeine. Okay, so I entered a competition called Pi Week, in which you make a game in Python in one week. That competition starts in half an hour. So Python is a programming language, the first one I ever learned, and there's a module for Python called Pygame, and Pygame gives you all the stuff you need to make games with Python. So that's what I've been making my games in, uh, with Pygame. That's what Telgrid and all those other math games games are made with. Every competition for Pi Week has a theme, and this past week we have been voting for which of the five themes that this week's competition is going to be. So the five themes we've been voting on are Coughlin Brothers Mortuary, Warm and Soft, Nine Times, Sausage King, and A Fry Kick on Venus. All very, very weird names for themes. I really don't know how much filming I'm going to do this week, mostly I'll be programming. But I will have a link in the Mathulator to my diary, which I will probably update often. But now there are only 20 minutes left, so I have got to finish preparing, and I will see you later. Boop. Alright, it's about to start. Come on. Refresh. Come on. No, 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 no. <laughs> refresh, refresh. Refresh! Nine times! <laughs> My favorite! That is the one that I wanted to do! <sighs> okay, gotta get started. This is awesome. Bye! Okay, it is now 9.15, an hour and 15 minutes after it started, and I am working pretty hard. I've already done that, and that, and that, and that. Okay, so at this point in the project, uh, I am done. It is Saturday, past the deadline, and I completed the game and I uploaded it. Um, I mostly forgot to film this week because, as it turns out, uh, solo coding doesn't create a lot of good vlogging content. But I will show you the game and I will include the link, Matthew Later, to download it and play it, have fun with it. Listen to my sarcastic robot voice, because I recorded my voice for that. Okay, so there it is. Whee! Funsies! So you can do that. Look at the menu a little bit. This is my tic-tac-toe based menu. Can't click on these, because you have to unlock them. So, this is tic-tac-toe squared. Looks like a Sudoku board, doesn't it? So basically, it's like regular tic-tac-toe. There's an X right there. And... So you have these restrictions, which are explained in the rules. And... Let's see if we can't get a tic-tac-toe. Alright, so you fill this last one in, and... Blue wins. Or... O wins. Winner! Yay! Okay, so I'm just playing against myself. But, uh, we have a CPU, which... Initialize gaming loop. Uh, <laughs> made programming jokes. There, I moved. Happy now? Uh-huh. He's very mad for some reason. I hate you. Oh, apparently there, he hates I me. There, I moved. Happy now? See, the thing is, in easy mode, he basically just picks random spots. No strategy whatsoever, so easy mode is... If you do that again, I swear I will rage quit. Oh, rage quit, huh? Well, meh. Are you really sure you want to go there? See, what happens is if you wait too long, he'll say something really, really random. So, it was my birthday last week. Not that anyone noticed. Aw, that's sad. I don't care. And here's where I win. That was a fun game. I thoroughly enjoyed spending this time with you. I would love to play against you again. And sarcasm loop. And sarcasm loop. Awesome. So now we can play normal and hard mode, they use some strategy, but I'm not going to show you that, I'm going to play CPU versus CPU, which is really, really fun to watch. So, speed 1, very slow, and we crank it up to speed 2, speed 3, 4, 5, but speed 6. Again! Again! 
Okay, so that's uh, Tic-Tac-Toe Square. The uh, link to download that is in the Matthew Later or doobly-doo, or description box. Okay, one last little thing. Uh, I want next week's video to be related to Tic-Tac-Toe Squared in some way. Sort of a q and I guess. So, leave questions in the comments. Uh, like, let's say you want to know how the computer players work. Uh, if you want to see the uh, raw footage from uh, my recording the voices for the computers, because that's actually pretty funny. Or if you want to know how programming works, like how do you program in Python, uh, I could do that too. So please leave questions. I, I really want to see what you guys want to know about this. Uh, and I'll see you next time.